Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah and today I'm going to show you guys how to clean out your CC folder super easily and delete any CC that you either don't want or that is broken. This tutorial works for both PC and Mac luckily, so let's just jump right into it. So first you are going to open the gallery. You're going to be in create a sim. You want to open the gallery and you want to search for base sim and then hit enter. We're going to pick one of these sims that like basically have nothing on them. They don't have any clothes. They're a completely blank sim. You're going to hit replace and what you're going to do is filter each category by content, custom content. You're going to go through and add every piece of CC that you no longer want on to your sim. So for example, if you don't want, I don't want this hair anymore because I never use it. I'm going to put that on her and then a way to be able to delete as many items as possible is to basically just do multiple items per outfit. So there's, you could do five outfits and then there's a set eight categories. You could put up to 40 different hairs on your sim if you want to delete 40 different hairs. Um, and so you're just going to scroll through and find all of the items that you don't want, whether they're broken or whatever. You're going to just add them to your sim and then you're going to do the same for just pretty much everything so if there are any tops or anything that you don't want you're going to just filter it by custom content scroll through and just pick whatever you would like to get rid of so i put all the stuff that i don't want on her i deleted a bunch of items a couple days ago so i don't really have very many things that i want to delete but you're going to then save her to uh, your library and so now that your sim is saved to the library you're going to exit the game and then you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in Sims 4 tray importer click on that click this top link and here is Sims 4 tray importer I believe they also do have a Mac OS it says it is compatible for that so you can download it for that as well. You're gonna scroll up and just hit download this file and then it's going to download this. It says uh, Sims 4 whatever unified blah, blah, blah. You're going to click it and it's going to be in your, when you go to your downloads folder, if you say you go to your downloads folder first, it's going to be in a zip file. You don't have to uncompress it or anything or open the zip file. You just double click it and then you click on this application. And now it might say that it might have a virus. It doesn't. I've downloaded this a million times. It's fine. And so you're just going to hit that and then do run anyway. Um, new version can be available at uh, blah, blah, blah. Check for everything now. Just hit no. But if you're just downloading it, this is the newest version. So you don't have to check for a newer version. So you're going to hit no. It's going to hit next, 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 install. And you could, there's two versions. There's just this one and then there's a 64 bit. I click off both. You don't really have to because then you're just going to have two tray and porter apps on your desktop but i do it anyways just in case but then you hit finish and it'll open it hit closes again you do not need to check for updates i never update this and then you're going to go to these little books right here and click library and then this will have all the stuff that you have uploaded to your gallery and so um you have your base sim so this is a sim that you put all of your unwanted cc on you're going to go to cc right here and now ignore it says overrides ignore these do not delete these if you want to keep your defaults and everything um just look at these so these are the items that i put on my sim so you're just basically going to highlight all of these yeah you're going to highlight all of them and then you're going to right click and hit show containing folder and so i have multiple folders so if you have multiple folders within your mods folder. So, so you have everything separated into categories like hair, tops, bottoms, da da da. I just wanna open multiple folders. And so all you have to do is, this is the first folder that it opened. You're going to right click and then hit delete. Then close this folder, right click and delete. Close this folder, right click and delete. Then close this folder, right click, delete. And that's everything. If you like reload the page or whatever, and you go to CC, it won't have any CC because you just deleted everything that you had on this sim. So that is pretty much 
it. I hope this was very helpful for you. I hope you um, found it a bit easier to clean out your mods folder. Um, so yeah, this is what I do. I've been doing this for years. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I think it was early this week actually, I like went through and I deleted a one gig worth of CC. Um, that's why I have this base sim female. I had a whole bunch of CC that I deleted and I cleared up my game a bunch and it was very, very easy. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, comment them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a like and subscribe and comment whatever you want. Maybe other tutorials that you want to see on how to do certain things in the game. Um, but yeah, I really do like doing tutorials and stuff. I like being helpful <laughs> like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have a happy holidays. If you're not ce celebrating any holidays this week or next, then just enjoy your days off from school or work. Bye-bye. Uh,